Yo, it's your boy DC True from DC True Dash Nation.com, where we cover hoops and arrows. And today we're talking hoops. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I made a video, and I'm a little late on this, but Bella Nelly has some harsh words for Rudy Gobert. And you know that situation with Gobert taking the virus, you know, as a game, not taking it seriously, and it backfired on him. He infected himself and possibly his teammates, okay? Now, Bellinelli, who's from Italy, by the way, has some harsh words for him. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, the first thing I wanna say and get out the way, I wanna preface this video by saying, heck, if Bellinelli is upset with this guy, then he has every right to be upset with this guy because Italy has been hit with this thing so harshly, so many deaths, so many lives lost. I can only imagine how that makes Bellinelli feel being that his home country takes a lot of pride being Italian, playing on an Italian team, you know, Olympics and so forth. And he's donated to the hospitals and he helped his people out there. So he has every right to be unforgiving, in my opinion, when it comes to Rudy Gobert. But to his credit, though, he handled this with very much class. Now, I know in the video title, I said he had harsh words for Gobert, but he actually didn't. <laughs> and I promise you, it's not clickbait. He had a quote that really was worse than harsh words, in my opinion, because a lot of times you can say something without saying something. And what he said came across as very hurtful and very angry although he was trying not to take it there. Bellinelli says, terrible. I prefer not to express myself because I don't want to say things that then seem offensive or too serious, but what he did was yes, terrible. Ooh, shoot. To me, y'all, that's worse than calling him out. It was, it, his quote comes across as hurtful. It comes across as angry and rightfully so. So, I mean, he did have some harsh words for him. But to be honest with you guys, I feel really bad for Gobert because what he did, you know, was foolish, you know, playing around with the microphones, you know, touching people, playing with the idea of the virus. It was terrible, but it was out of ignorance, out of ignorance. And a lot of people in this country right now are being very ignorant. OK, even the government at first, not trying to get too political, but even the government at first downplayed this whole virus thing for about a month, y'all. Before they start taking it seriously, a lot of news outlets did as well. <coughs> Fox News, <coughs> Fox News. A lot of news outlets did that as well. So let's give this kid a break. Let's give this kid a break. What he did was stupid. It was ignorant. It would go down as one of the most foolish things you could ever do. But to his credit, he has been donating money. He has apologized. You know, he has done all he can do to kind of make up for that. So when I see players like, you know, Donovan Mitchell, and I admit I didn't, I don't have the virus. I pray to God I don't get it. So I can't really speak on Mitchell's experience, but from the outside looking in, I feel like Mitchell is somewhat overreacting if the rumors are true that he wants Gobert traded. The reason why I say that is because Gobert, again, was very ignorant, very stupid, but he was not malicious. He's not a malicious guy. He didn't know he had the virus. He didn't know he was spreading the virus. And then with the new information about the virus, Donovan Mitchell could have gave it to Gobert for all we know. We don't even know if Gobert was the reason Mitchell got it. So take a chill tablet, young fella. Take a chill tablet. Now, switching back to Bellinelli, I got to tell you, he handled this really well. His quote could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot harsher than that. You know, he could have cursed. Gobert completely out and everyone would have understood that even Gobert himself. OK, but he took the classy route, but in route to the classiness in route to that route. Does that make sense? In route to that route, whatever you get what I'm trying to say in route to that. He almost came across as more harsh because that quote, whoo, man, that quote makes you gives you chills like, man, Gobert messed up. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for sticking with the channel in these hard times. No basketball news, no movie news, <laughs> no channel. But I'm going to try to get some content going. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there. Peace.